In this episode, we ask Kopitiam to recommend us some of their best new food stalls and we're going to travel all around Singapore to find out how good they are. Welcome to Food Finders and we have Gary back with us today. Yay. I'm back. Back from Penang. Was in Penang, Penang for a while. So over two days, we're going to be visiting eight locations to try out the variety of stuff that's available in Kopitiams. Mm -hmm. Today we have like the Forbidden Words game. Oh, we're doing Forbidden Words. Okay. You saw, you saw the word, right? I saw that. So we're at the Bukit Panjang Plaza Kopitiam and we're here to try Ji Fan Express. So we bought the uh, roasted and the steamed one. How much is it? $12.60. The two packs actually come with two person chicken and one of this and one of this. Normally okay. I go with uh, okay. the steam because yep. it's like juicier, but their uh, barbecued one looks equally as juicy. Oh, I like that the soup is not just MMV soup, it has carrot flavor. If they pay attention to the details yeah, yeah. of what's not the main yeah. thing, it means the main thing should be better. You were right. Mm. That's actually very good. Very affordable. I think it's a good portion size. The rice is not like the best. It's not as al dente. A bit mushy maybe. Try the white one. Pretty standard. It's better than just like the average chicken rice stall. I actually think uh, the roasted one beats the, the steamed one. I'm cool with both, but I'm usually like a white boy. I ain't what you think I am. Is that chicken rice in Canada? No. The closest thing would be like a, a restaurant that serves yeah, yeah, Hainanese yeah, yeah. chicken rice. But like a chicken rice like this in Canada would, would, would be like restaurant price, like 20. Okay, what? <laughs> How did I choose this one? I love Canada. Let's see this. Okay. If just having chicken is boring for you, you have other options which Gary will try because I hate tofu. Okay. It's big. Is it still. Is it still it's good. Is it like mind-blowing amazing? No. But is it affordable and delicious? Yes. So you'll get 15% off the two-pack set to show this graphic. On to the next Kopitiam. So you're thirsty, right? Thirsty. Oh shit! Damn it! Call me at the last moment. No, but Gary picked this. We are now at the next Kopitiam at Helian Mall. Gary <laughs> has never been here. <laughs> so we're gonna try a Italian fusion stall here. We can't only do Wu eh? Yeah, why not? Do it. Oh, why not? <laughs> but before we, we, we do that, hey, producer, 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 pick out your card. No, was it Penang? Yeah. Per person. We're here at the second location, Emoji. Emoji. I saw some like Vegan. Italian fried rice. I don't know what that's all about, but I got the chicken bolognese with grilled chicken. This is the salmon aloo olio. I want to talk about the chicken. It tastes like chicken. It's crispy and they've like rendered the fat almost completely gone right. from the chicken uh, skin. Pre-made pasta sauce mixed with the chicken. I, I think this is what most people locally would be more accepting of. I guess for like 9.90, this is okay. I wouldn't expect spaghetti to be like made from the scratch with 9.90. I think the chili flakes gives it more, more dimension. The, the pasta is like al dente. I like the uh, aglio olio more. The broccoli is just confusing, man. <laughs> like, why? This is the fusion. It's all right. At least it's yeah. not dry. Usually yeah, yeah. when you, you have like really thin salmon, it can get dry. You know, nothing crazy out of the box, but I think it's uh, kind of expected. Can't complain about my natty. And things about to get cheaper with if you share this picture, everything on the menu is 15% off. We're gonna move off to the next Kopitiam now. So Seth, of all the places you've eaten here, what's your favorite stuff? Here as in, in this country. Yeah. Hokkien Mee. Singapore Hokkien Mee. Yeah, like the fried Hokkien Mee. If, if you have like uh, friends from like overseas, what's the go-to place here? The signature of Singapore is probably like uh, like the fanciest stuff. Ah, uh, damn it, was it Singapore? <laughs> anyway, chili crab, probably yeah. something that you would bring people to. You know what you should do? You should put your family into a... Uh, uh, what's that TV show where they have to compete or die? Compete or die? Yeah, yeah, with the red light. Thing. Oh, Squid Games. Yes, yeah, Squid Games. Yeah. Yes, yes. And that is the word on your card. Bah! Is it? <laughs> Yeah, how was I gonna weave in Squid Game? All right, we're here in Woodlands at Admiralty Place at this new place called Canteen Corner by Kopitiam. And also, we have to draw some new words. Oh yeah, right. Okay, okay. We 
we ordered our food from this uh, nasi kawin. I, I'm more familiar with the term nasi padang, but not really kawin. Very similar. similar. I got the ayam pao pao uh, No. I got some bitter gourd and I got the tempeh. I have the uh, mutton curry, the lontong cabbage with vegetables. Hmm. Mutton is soft. The mutton is good. It's cooked to the point where even the tendons have um, turned into the, what do you call it? Turned yeah, into gelatinous. gelatinous. Yeah, so yeah. it just melts. I think the spices are great though. You know, it's not too strong. Everything is very flavorful. It's like every bite is a tick of something. It's a good combo of flavors, right? Because like you eat the chicken, it's a bit of sweet. You have the curries, it's very well, curry flavor. Depending what you pick in each bite, you have a completely different flavor profile, which is quite fun. I feel like that it's not overly spicy. It lingers in yeah, your yeah. mouth, but it doesn't force you to want more water anything like that. And that's it for Inak, Inak sedap. sedap. So Inak means tasty, Indonesian. Sedap is also tasty, but like in Malay. So it's okay. just uh, tasty, tasty. The majority of the stalls here are halal certified and the remaining stalls are uh, awaiting or pending yeah, their yeah. certification. So eventually this place will be completely halal. That's it for Inak Sedap. We need to go to the next Kopi Tiap. You guys yeah. grew up in Malaysia. I grew up uh, parts, so of in Malaysia. parts in Malaysia. But one thing I really can't stand, why the toilets? Huh? Why are they so garbage? It's like they're inside the, the the, the thing like having a water fire. To be fair, like like on holiday, like if you go on holiday, a lot of the public toilets are pretty shitty. But I'm not even talking about holiday. I'm just talking about regular old weekday. All right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're all here right, at right. the last stop at uh, Canberra Plaza. Last stop for today. So we're gonna try this nasi ayam kaliwang, which in 2022 was actually recommended by the Michelin Guide. That was the original store in Yishun. They do have it now here in Canteen. By the way, Gary, it's time to pick a card. When did I say holiday? But I'm not even talking about holiday. Did I say holiday? A holiday. All right. All right, I'm actually quite excited for this. Mine's the Kaliwang set, and yours the uh, jumbo. jumbo. Yeah, you got like your ota, fried chicken, sausage, fish cake, and then the sambal, which I believe will make or break a nasi lemak. So mine's, I think, a lot more straightforward. It's the fried egg with the uh, grilled chicken, and then you have like a whole load of chili, Sambal is good. It wasn't spicy at first, and then it's got more of that spicy kick at the end. Very sweet. The spice oh, comes yeah, after. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really like the rice. Lovely. It's not just coconut. Just like this, like lemongrass, maybe? Mm hmm. How's that? Spicy? Oh, so good. So spicy, but so good. That's a good sign. But the meat is so tender. It's, tender? It's actually really good. It's very crunchy. Very nice. The batter is nice. It's a thick batter, yeah. So how do you find this one? Was it delicious? Yeah. It's one of the words, isn't it? Delicious. Yes! And that's it for day one. See you tomorrow. All right, and welcome back to day two of our Kopitiam Singapore tour. We're here at Tampines Mall, and we're gonna try out some stuff here. We got noodles from Bounce. Which is actually from an, a bigger mother company, but this specific location right. is a halal version. My spaghetti, yours is their signature. You can see there's they like the onsen signature. egg, chicken, mince, chicken. and then even the fish balls themselves. There's a variety. You got your traditional fish ball, I don't know what this one is, and then fish cake. <laughs> the unique selling point is that they actually hand make their fish balls daily. Most of the uh, fish ball noodle stalls that you buy from, you just all get it from a supplier. If you're going through the, the work to, to make it fresh, Oh shit, it tastes really good. That's good fish ball. Very flavorful, bouncy, it's good. A bit on the sweeter side. But it looks uh, redder than usual. Try. Tastes like there's a slight bit of ketchup or something mixed in. Like the sauce is thicker, more like okay. syrupy. I got the oiliness, which clearly is not pork lard. It's, it's really good. I'm like thoroughly enjoying this one. I'm like not like a, little a bit of everything. huge fish ball person as well, but like these fish balls are pretty good, man. We got a bounce to the next place. Today feels a lot better though. The temperature. Temperature. So it cuts off the weather. Oh, that was Bywood? Yes. Actually, there was a there was like a week here where you remember there was like it was just like kind of raining or misting like the whole. Yes. Week. Yeah. That yes. was like that yeah, was. No, no, no we are, we're saying yes to a different thing, but yeah, yeah, go on. What Canada again? <laughs> no, not Canada. Vancouver. Oh. Oh, that's right. Oh. We got new cards. New <laughs> cards. We are in front of Burking. Burking. We 
which is owned by a actual Vietnamese. We have the bún chả and then the first special beef pho. For the bún chả, the way to eat it, yeah, you dipping the noodle, the veggie okay, inside the, the yeah, the then eat together okay. with the meat. I tell you, ah, uh, the soup very nice. You can look the soup also. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank Enjoy you. your food, ah. Huh? Oh, mm. that's really a little salty. It's like the grilled fat flavor inside. Oh, okay, it's not bad. This is great. It's salty, it's sweet. Most of it is not spicy, but you can add the spice. It always has this like clean, refreshing taste. This is really good. I, I like this, I like this. If anyone knows online what this leaf is, it's not mint. It's got a very herbally taste. This combined with the lettuce and it gives that texture. It's a really good combo. The muncha tastes like liquid barbecue. If you were to drink a barbecue, it tastes like that. Juice it down just like that. I love fur. This is a special beef fur. Yeah, the soup got a good flavor to it. Lots of noodles. Although there is carbs, I think it's with a good mix of vegetables and very lean soup bases and very mm -hmm. clean. And they tend to always have like a mix of acid and that like cuts through the thick heaviness feeling. Vietnamese is like one of my favorite cuisines. Fucking good. It's pretty fucking good. <laughs> they have a promo. What is the it called again? The bun cha. So $1.50 off, the bun cha, $7. Flash this image. Okay, and that's it. Oh my God, Gary. We have two more places. Camera is too hot. Oh. What? What? Did I see? Yes, I didn't oh, even yeah, have to well, do it anything. It wasn't on camera. It wasn't on camera. I didn't even <laughs> have to do anything. Good job, GoPro. <laughs> so we are at Kopitiam at ELQ Mall in Paya Leba. We are at Wu Xiao Fish Soup. I got Mi Suan noodles. Gary has the fried fish one with the standard bee hoon. And I have to pick the new cards. So, my second coffee of the day is coffee. Coffee with ice. Pretty decent. Okay, it's good. It's like bitter god. Do you like bitter god in your fish soup? I'm okay with it. I feel like as I grow older, I appreciate more of the bitter stuff. I think you're just becoming more bitter as you grow older. Oh! I feel like this is a pretty standard. You don't know what to eat. You want to stay healthy. You still want like hot soupy food type stuff, especially on a day like today. It's a safe choice. Good segue into the promo. If you get the fried fish soup or the twin fish soup with noodle, oh, it normally costs about seven eighty, but you can get it for six eighty. Six eighty, one dollar. Flash this image. That's it for Kopitiam at PLQ. We're gonna head off to the last spot. And welcome today back to blah, 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 something Vivo blah, City. Blah, blah, We're blah, here blah. at the last place oh. of our food extravaganza oh. with Kopitiam. We're gonna eat Hokkien, Mi, and Cha Kui yeah. We have the same thing in Penang. It's completely different dishes here <laughs> in Singapore. Hello, hello, hello. You had no FMB experience. Yeah, exactly. I started from scratch and then I learned from my okay. employees. Food is here. Uh, pork belly, a bronze, fried pork lard. Pork lard. Okay, it's a sufficient wetness of noodle. I mean, as far as Singaporean chakwe chow goes, it, it looks like it's got all the right ingredients. Ham, the lap chong. Two different types of noodles. As per Singaporean chakwe chow, that's how it is. Is there uh, only one noodle in, in the Penang one? Yeah. Is it only kwe tiao? Kwe tiao. Let's go. There you go. Is it pretty good? Decent amount of wok hay flavor on here. As far as Singapore chakwe tiao goes, it's fairly good. Like it's got all the things you expect from a good chakwe tiao here. It is on the sweet side, but I know that that is um, a Singaporean chakwe tiao aspect of chakwe tiao. The stock is robust. It's sufficiently wet. I, I really like the broth that they cook this in. Sufficient amount of eggs. The chili is also very nice. It's spicy enough. Swap. Swap. Damn. I have to mm. say, like, if he learned this with no reference, he actually did a pretty good job, man. Pretty good job. I think what I really like about Hock and Me, it's not the end part that's really difficult. I think it's like how you make the broth. You need to kind of steam the noodles with the broth. So it soaks it up. Yeah, so it soaks it up. Between the two, would you prefer? The Hock and Me? Yeah. This was surprising, now. They two those to straw hat Hock and Me. So they do sell other things as well, like the oyster omelette and carrot cake as well. Small white carrot cake will go at 470 if you show this voucher graphic instead of the usual 550. Only white carrot cake. And this is Barbie! You can see me! Uh, what? You can count the number of cuts that you have. Oh, we count it here? One, two, three, four, five, six, five. 
five as well. It's a draw. It's a draw! Oh wait, right you want to do a tiebreaker then? Jesus, paper, stop! So welcome to the solo outro where I have to do it by myself because I lost Jesus Paper Stone. Gary, I need to know what are your favorite style? Fu King. Fu King. And fishball noodle. Why do you like it? Fu King had amazing flavor. Fishball noodle was unexpectedly amazing. Gary just likes balls. Balls and, and Fu King. I think for myself, Straw Hat at like the Vivo City Kopitiam. I think they do a really good Hokkien Mee. Kopitiam has a lot of recommendations. Some of them were actually pretty, pretty decent. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel. See you guys. Bye.